the basement. You okay? I'm fine. I just woke him up from his nap. He's not happy. I'm not unhappy. You're not happy, though. And he just got back from Dad's weekend at U of I. Yes. Partying with the co-eds for three days. We'll uh, do this to you. Sure. Three days? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We left at like nine something this morning. Doesn't matter. You were still partying on Sunday night. Sunday morning. Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. It's like mini Vegas. Yeah, champagne. right. Champagne. All right, so coming up at the store, we have hats. We have hats. $9.99? You selling it yet? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Where's my take? Where's my cut? I haven't seen anything yet. I've seen nothing. One way street. October 19th, wine ta the fall wine tasting in the store from 1 to 5. How many wines? Yes. How many A lot. Wines? A lot. Yes. <clears throat> 100? Sure. 120? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, November 2nd, spirit tasting? Yes. And the wine top 10, 1 to 5, in the store. That's correct. How many spirits? Yes. Several. More than Ish. 5. Oh, definitely more than 5. Okay. <laughs> Someone needs to put jumper cable on him or something. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And what would we be doing today? What's today? We're watching the Bears yes. get their butts kicked by the Lions. I kind of meant, what are we drinking today? We are drinking pumpkin ales, pumpkin beers. It's that annual pumpkin beer episode. Is there any caffeine in these? No. You don't like caffeine. I probably could use some. You could, but you don't like caffeine. You don't drink coffee. You don't drink Coke. I like chocolate. It has a different kind of caffeine. Really? So, pumpkin beer episode. Uh, we have an old standby that's been on, I think, the first two, the first two years of doing this. So this is our third year of pumpkin beers. It um, is? It is. Third year, third time. Uh, we did it here, did it at my uh, house last year with uh, Mr. Reback, was a guest star. And then we, we have these. So the Southern Tier, Pump King, is an annual participant in this exercise. How much is this per bottle? $8.99? $7.99. $7.99? Woo! Very good. Uh, won the first year. Last year, O'Fallon won. From it's Louis. already gone. It's already gone? Yep. Uh, so O'Fallon won last year, not in this year. It's all gone. Um, you want to take this one up? Because you can do something useful. What is it? A whole hog or something? Is that what it's called? Whole hog pumpkin ale. Whole hog hmm. pumpkin ale. No idea. <clears throat> and then we have dogfish head pun pumpkin ale. So, as usual, Adam did not get pricing before he left the store with these. But typically... I may have, but I've forgotten. But typically, Dogfish Head comes, as you said, in four packs. Yes, it does. So probably between $8.99 and $10.99 is usual range. If there's any left. And ale brewed with pumpkin spices, whole hog, what, six-pack, you think? It's definitely a six-pack. Six-pack, and probably given it's made by Stevens Point Brewery, so it's even like Point Beer, make this, it's probably in the $7.99 to $9.99 for six-pack. My guess. Just my guess. But uh, very good. You brought Point Beer Home, one of my childhood favorites. Which one do you want to do first? I don't care. Let's do the dogfish head first. It's a very interesting episode because he's so into it. So, dogfish head. Pun kin ale. <laughs> it's really difficult when it's a one-man show. Well... I don't even know which of these are going to be left by now. We've bought a lot of Pump Kings, so I know that'll be left. Yeah. These two could actually be gone even as we speak, but we'll still see which one we like the well, best. Which one we like the best, yeah. So, 7% alcohol by volume. So, typical of dogfish head beers. It smells like beer. It doesn't. I don't smell any pumpkin. It smells like beer. Maybe a little bit of pumpkin pie on it, but it smells like beer. Very little. Bears are getting killed. Oh, we scored a touchdown. I don't think there's no pumpkin pie. Touchdown. Pie. Touchdown Bears? And a two-point conversion. Touchdown Bears. We're only 16 points back with uh, five minutes to go. Um, this doesn't taste like no pumpkin good. at all. A slight hint. Weak attempt at pumpkin ale. slight hint at the, on the, on the, the uh, finish. front. No, and no, a little, they get, right get in the front. front. Maybe I'm getting a lot of foam, so I'm getting it later. But it's a very weak effort at pumpkin beer slash ale. Yeah, I mean, I want to say... Hey, I don't know if I drank this, but I'd even say this is pumpkin. Pumpkin beer, no. So that was the dogfish head. 
It says, full, a full body brown ale brewed with real pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It tastes taste, like a brown I ale. Taste, I don't taste really cinnamon either. It tastes like a beer. It tastes like a beer. It tastes like a beer. It kind of looks like a beer, too. It looks like a beer, too. All right, now we're going to go to the... Uh, so, um, since you're not doing a blind, maybe I'll say something else. I'm not <laughs> sure what it's going to be. But uh, I would not give this a big thumbs up if you're looking for a pumpkin beer. No, there's no pumpkin beer. Uh, it tastes is okay. It's probably yeah. for also fairly expensive for... Given who brews it. Yeah. For what it is. So this is the pumpkin ale from Stevens Point Brewery. It's called Whole Hog. They are, Stevens Point Brewery is trying to go a little upscale, so Whole Hog is their, I guess, limited branding. I read, I read about that. Let me choke this down. Okay. Ooh. That smells like pumpkin pie. Ooh. <laughs> this smells like pumpkin, and watch the color. It looks orange. It smells like pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. Yep. Really creamy pumpkin pie. It's got a very good pumpkin nose on it. Agreed. Ooh. It tastes like you're drinking pumpkin pie. Play in a second. Very well done, Stevens Point Brewery. I would buy this if you're looking for a pumpkin beer. Really good. Pumpkin beer. Tastes like pumpkin pie. Tastes like pumpkin pie. Oh, Very good. It'd be a good mix. You like layer the pumpkin around. The pumpkin ale? Yeah. Oh. And you, know, you get like a Jaeger bomb thing. And you put. Oh, like put pumpkin in and then drop the pumpkin ale in the middle and chug it? Yeah. You sound looking like you have a lot of energy to try that out. Well, so you know I'm always full of energy. You are. Pumpkin pie. Very good pumpkin ale. So that's whole hog from Stevens Point Brewery. Ale brewed with pumpkin and spices, 7.5% alcohol, but it's a little bit more than the Dr. Chet. Sorry we're keeping you awake. So, Southern Tier, Pumpkin, an annual participant in our tasting. And what's the percentage on this, since Brian's always all about the, the percentages alcohol. of alcohol. So, um, Pumpkin, ale brewed with pumpkins. 8.6%, so the highest of the three. Imagine that, a pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkins. That's what it says. Well, the other one said, with real pumpkin, brown sugar, allspice, cinnamon, nutmeg. Ale brewed with pumpkin and spices is ale brewed with pumpkins. So a little bit different description. Pureed, so the ingredients, two row pale malt, caramel malt, pureed pumpkin, and magnum hops, and sterling hops. There you go. So again, not a pumpkin, no pumpkin, I don't smell any pumpkin on the nose. I, I, get, I, I do. I don't I get more of the, again, graham cracker. I, oh, that, oh, I get the graham cracker, but I have a little bit of graham cracker, cinnamon, a little bit of pumpkin on the nose. Still, I like good. it. I like it. Southern Tier, very well done, as always. You can kind of taste a little bit it's a little got a astringency little bit, on the end. It's got a little more um, of the cinnamon. cinnamoniness. To the, more of the, the spices than the, the graham to the graham cracker. More of the spices, the cinnamon yeah, nutmeg. No, I don't really get much pumpkin out of this. I don't get it. I don't really get any pumpkin out of this, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not like the dogfish head. Well. Dogfish head, which I didn't really like. So, which by the way, now Peggy sells us. So I'm sure she'll be happy about this episode. My vote would be this one: the Wild Hog Pumpkin Ale by Point Brewery, Southern mm -hmm. Tier, Dogfish Head. And my vote would be Southern Tier. Really? You like the crust and the cinnamon yes, flavor? Yes, I like it much better. Okay. Uh, pumpkin ale and mm. then dogfish, dogfish head. Mm. I, I wouldn't even buy dogfish head. But you know you have some of this left, and you're not I know sure we, about this. I know we have a lot of Southern Tier we bought in. But you're not sure about Because these. they run out. These, yeah. Well, uh, dogfish head, pumpkin, pumpkin mm. ale, you probably don't care if we have it after this episode. Um, the pumpkin ale, if you want something that's pumpkin-y. Pumpkin um, but for the best flavor to me, the best taste. I like the Southern Tier. And consistently, year after year, the Southern Tier is one of the top ones. I think it won the first year and came in second to O'Fallon last year. It's your favorite again this year, so always I guess, good. I guess there you have it. There you have it. So anything else you want or to yours, say? Or yours, yours. Or mine. Anything else you want to say? Because you've been rather quiet Hi, today. Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. <clears throat> wow. Hey, I saw your mom the other day. You wish her happy birthday? She birthday had a party today. at your house when you were gone. Her birthday is Happy birthday, Linda. Happy birthday. And <clears throat> All right, so... Uh, Tasting's coming up. We have the fall wine. I'm waking up a little bit now. You are waking up. Fall we, wine we may have to redo this. Fall wine tasting, <laughs> October 19th, 1 to 5 p.m. Spirits over 100 wines. 
Um, yes. There may be some liquor there too. Yes. Uh, spirit tasting. There will definitely be liquor at the spirit tasting. Yes. I already know I have some uh, locally made cocktails, which are supposed to be really good. Is this from North Shore Distillery? Those guys again? No, North Shore Distillery I think will be there, but no, these are um, craft house cocktails. Okay. Which uh, Charles really likes. And oh. he got me to bring them in, but I haven't actually had a chance to taste them yet. Anyway, November 2nd we'll have craft house cocktails. We'll One have uh, all different other stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not set up, fully set up yet. We'll have some bourbons, mm -hmm. we'll have some scotches, um, just a whole assortment of liquor. And then as typical as you get closer to the Thanksgiving into the holidays, you have regular tastings for champagne and yep. other type of holiday wine, stuff like that. So that's coming too. At the great end of the year to go into the store and drink for nothing. That's true. Mm -hmm. All right, so till next time, we are drinking, drinking in, in the basement. basement.